What's up, family? All right, you know what time it is. You know what time it is, right? It's that time. It's that time right after the sun came up. I think they call it morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Cheers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me. I just woke up like this, all right? Don't blame me, man. I'm just the messenger, all right? I don't know why I'm like this. I didn't choose it, all right? It's just the way God made me, okay? So just leave me alone about it, all right? Chill. Chill. What's wrong with you? All right. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling some type of way today. All right. So... Yeah, okay, this is a, this is an SR channel, so let's try, let's, try, let's try and stay focused, all right? Come on now. Let's get with the program. Semen retention, let's go. Let's go. All right. Seriously, though, all right, seriously, on a serious note, I'm going to try my best to be serious, and it's just not easy. It's not fucking easy, okay? Your boy's feeling... <laughs> your boy's feeling good. All right. But seriously, though. I wake up, crack of dawn. I wake up like it doesn't matter when I went to sleep. You know, I'm on this. I'm on this level now. I've been on this thing for long enough. I don't even know how long I've been on retention now. I think it's coming. I'm coming on like four months or something like that. Like steady. I don't. I wake up and I'm just like I just pop right out of bed. Like it never used to be like that. It's the. It's amazing. I don't need coffee anymore. I'm still drinking it because I like it. But you know what? I'm not attached to it right now, and that feels great. It's like if I woke up and I couldn't get a cup of coffee, I'd be like, eh, fuck it, whatever. That's progress for me, and I'm pumped on it. And uh, the other thing, you guys, is uh, I don't need as much sleep as I used to. It's wild. I used to really struggle with that. And actually, oddly enough, I'm, I'm starting to sleep better. I went through a phase where I was having a lot of trouble sleeping. And that just kind of went away. I kind of pushed through that. And I felt like that was a spiritual attack. And I just kind of had to like blast my way through it. And I did. And now your boy's sleeping really good. But I get these dreams, you guys. So many dreams. Like crazy amounts of dreams are really vivid. And they're like lucid. They're like getting more and more lucid. Like I know I'm dreaming. And the dreams tend to be mostly like sexual in nature for me. That's just... Yeah, you know, you got, you guys know the deal. That's like part of the reason I'm on semen retention. There's like some, something has always been a little off, a little bit extreme with me in that regard. All right, so that's why it's a really healthy thing for me to be doing. But when I go to sleep, it's like all. I mean, last night it was just like the dreams was just like one after another. It was just like every beautiful woman that my subconscious could come up with was just on my shit trying to trying to you know, do you know what? And, you know, and I'm like, like, you know, stiff, uh, all night long, you know, and I kind of, you know how you kind of wake up like a little bit from a dream and you're like, oh, that's trippy. And then you're back to sleep and you're back in the dream. There's like a lot of that kind of thing. And that's kind of how I knew I was dreaming. Right. And in the dream, these girls kept trying to like get me off and I kept saying no, you know, and I didn't end up Nothing happened, man. I was able to control it in my sleep. This is new. This wasn't ha this is something I was struggling with early on. I was I was getting the wet dreams. And this is like one of the first times, maybe the first time where yo, know, it's like it's like this shift in my mind has actually become part of like my subconscious now. It's not just like something that I have to try to do. It's it's becoming like part of me on a, on a really deep level, y'all. And, um, it's so, it's so cool. I love it. I'm thrilled. All right. So, uh, <laughs> on that note, I'm about to, I'm about to work out because I can and life is beautiful and yeah, my knees a little messed up still, but the rest of my body works pretty good. And so, uh, all praise to the most high for that. I'm going to celebrate that reality by, uh, moving around a little bit using the parts of my body that do work well. I'm going to use them as much as I possibly can. And then I'm going to have a smoothie and then I'm going to do a little sunbathing because it's a beautiful day. It's sunny out. I give them free energy out from the sky. It's crazy. Um, you know, 
So yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, fam. I love you guys. Um, I hope you, I hope you stick to this temptations, you know, tests, all that, they come, the, the attacks, they come, people look at you funny. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. It's kind of, it's kind of amazing. So yeah, like certain people are going to just think you're a little nuts, especially if you're making videos about this stuff. Like your old friends, you know, they might, they might catch wind of what you're doing and they might start treating you different and you might run into old people, you know, and they might look at you funny and you, you, you ain't even said anything. They don't even know anything. And they're just looking at you funny, different, you know, cause your vibe's different. Your energy's different and theirs might be the same still. And so it's just, it, things aren't the same, right? It, it makes sense. But then, uh, you're going to vibe with other people, you know, things shift around like that and it's good. It's the best. I mean, what more could you want, right? I don't want fake anything. I only want real, man. So SR, dude, it's it's real. Like it it brings you <clears throat> it brings you back in touch with reality, right? Part of why I I chose to to brand myself, you know, the name I I chose comes from my last name with this, which is Etherton. Ether. Is, is the first part of it, right? So I did, I just dug on that. I was like, okay, ether, ethereal, you know? Because I've always been into like ethereal kind of things. And I thought, well, the word real's right in there. And that's what I'm all about nowadays is like real, real. Just give me the real, don't give me the fake. I'm in the grocery store, right? I'm looking for the real food. I don't want the fake food. You know, when I'm around people, I'm looking for the real people. I don't want fake people. I'd rather somebody be real and, and be mean to me than be fake and nice any day of the week. And the thing is like, I'd rather, I'd rather get rejected by somebody fake than get accepted by them. See what I'm saying? I'll take rejection all day, every day. If it's somebody that's not real, I don't want that. Why would I want that? It's fake. See what I'm saying? Why do I want a piece of candy when I can have a piece of fruit? Why do I want something fake when I could have something real? This just sort of becomes like common sense stuff as you start to exit your old ways, right? So I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, this is the way. If you're a man and you're still, nah, 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 and you're still like, nah, 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 what's this girl doing? What's this girl doing? I got to hit this girl up. Oh, did she text me back? When nah, 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 no, 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 no. No, 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 you stay in your zone. The longer you stay in your zone, you start to love your zone. I love my zone. I love it. I don't care if I have homies, girls, whatever. I don't care if I have company or if it's just me. Because guess what? I'm going to have a good ass time regardless. Doesn't matter. Be alone in my apartment, just dancing, just grooving, just feeling it. Just feeling myself, dude. Doesn't matter. Go on a long drive alone. Just grooving, just feeling it, feeling great. Go out to eat alone. Do it all the time. I can great. I'd rather have my own company than somebody fake. I don't want nothing fake. Get out of here with the fakeness. It's too much fake in this world. Let's get real. So it's like every day, focus on the trees, focus on the sun, focus on the sky, focus on the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Focus on the, like my boy Seb Conscious, shout out to Seb. He said, focus on the heavenly things. That's where it's at, bro. Because they are here. The he heavenly things are here on earth. Yeah, hellish things are here on earth too. Guaranteed, it's all here. What are you going to focus on? Heavenly things, man. And that's, guess what? That's the real shit. That's what's real, right? Going to nature, going to beautiful forest, ocean, sunrise, sunset. I mean, that, that's, what I'm talking about. Going to some fluorescently lit room. You want to go stare at an LED screen for three and a half hours and have your emotions tweaked, have your cortisol spiked, pay $25 for it, eat some Franken food while you're doing it. Nah. Nah, dude. Nah. Nah. We're through with that. We're leaving that world behind you guys. We're going to starve the parasites. That's how we do it, right?
Parasites everywhere. Starve them. Starve them. Eventually, they're they're like, you know, starving, dying little creatures. And, and fine, let them die. We don't need them. We can do so much better here, you guys. All right. This video has lasted a little longer than I intended it to. I got to... I gotta shut my mouth and start doing some work. Feel me? All right, you guys, peace and blessings. I love you. I respect you. Keep it up.